Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Miss Fitzgerald. She had two and a quarter, or two and one fourth gallons of fruit punch. She served three eighths of the gallon of fruit punch at her family. So how many gallons does she have left? So we can draw a real quick strip diagram to make sure that we are using our correct operation here. So it looks like her total is going to be two and one fourth gallons. And then she is going to serve. Doesn't look like she's serving a whole lot. So I'm going to do it like this. Three-eighths of gallons. And then the question is, is what does she have left? So that does look like we are going to do some subtraction. It looks like we can use a little bit of two and one-fourth minus three-eighths. Now, tricky part is, first, we need to have common denominators. Adding and subtracting fractions means we need common denominators. So let's take our fours, let's take our eights, let's list them out. We'll do a few of each. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And I've got eight, 16, 20, four, 32, 40. All right, got to get those correct. And obviously, we see most of you probably saw it originally. 8 is going to be your least common denominator. So we are going to, let's take this 1 fourth away from the 2. We'll bring that back. Let's just take our 1 fourth. Let's take our 3 eighths. Let's make sure we know how to make equivalent fractions. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply each of these by something to get our new common denominator of 8. The nice thing is that 3 eighths, we don't even need to multiply anything, right? It's just 1. So 3 eighths is going to stay 3 eighths. It's that 1 fourth we need to change into eighths. And so we're thinking 4 times what makes 8? Well, 4 times 2 makes 8. So we are going to multiply top and bottom both by 2, because take a look at this. 2 halves is equal to 1. And when you change, when you multiply anything by 1, it stays the same. That's the whole point of equivalent fractions, is we want it to stay the same, just look slightly different. And in this case, our 1 fourth is now going to look like 2 eighths. So now, let me rewrite this. Remember, this 2 eighths comes back to this 1 fourth, so we're going to make it 2 and 2 eighths minus 3 eighths. Hmm. Now that's going to be a little bit trickier, because take a look at what we have right here. We have 2 minus 3. Really, if we're just looking at the numerators, we're looking at 2 minus 3. And we're not going to have a negative fraction. So now we've got to do something else. So let me draw this 2 and 2 eighths for us here. So here's my 1, 2. So watch this. So I'm going to make this. That's one whole. That's two whole, and then let's make this eighths. All right. So there's my two and two eighths. And what I want to do is I want to regroup this whole right here. I need some more eighths. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole right here, and I'm going to break this up into eighths. So take a look at what I'm doing here. So now I've got one got 8 eighths, and I still have these 2 eighths right here. So if I bring these two together now, I've got 1 and 10 eighths. Now, it looks weird, 1 and 10 eighths, but 1 and 10 eighths is the same as 2 and 2 eighths. You saw how I just took one of my holes and broke it up into 8 eighths, but now I can subtract 1 and 10 eighths minus 3 eighths is going to give me 10 minus 3, that's going to give me 7 eighths. The whole number is just 1 and 7 eighths. My answer is J.